What's up, dude? You good? Man, good. Really good to see you, man. man. Yeah, man. Let's uh, let's get it started. You know, just kind of sharing what it, what it's, what it's gonna feel like to be 24. Can't believe it. You know, just, you know, just thinking about like what all has happened. To just being 23, I can't, I can't wait to see like what 24 is like in the years after that. So, yeah. I'm excited too. Yeah, so, man. You know, I turned 24. Oh, before you. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. Last month. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you, you technically baby bro. <laughs> Well, yeah, man. Maybe you can, uh, you know, share some of your experiences with me. Um, just how to be a better 24-year-old, or I mean, you know, I got. Just, I only got a month to eat on you. Though. Hey, but a month is everything, though. A month You're of right. experience. So, we'll see what happens, though. <laughs> When I think about life in general, I think about it in four quarters. Um, the first 25 years of my life, that's the first quarter. The second, the second, um, the second quarter is 50, the third quarter is 75, and maybe I'll live to see the fourth quarter, 100. And, um, but this first quarter is definitely necessary because it's the foundation for the rest of my life. So that's why I'm like on the grind so hard, posting this and that, making sure, um, you know, I got all my ducks in a row. And so being 24 is my last year to kind of make sure all my ducks is in a row before I hit 25. And so 24 is crucial right now. Like this is crunch time for quarter number one. You know what I'm saying? Just like an NFL game. You know, they people usually want to win in the first quarter. Or even in the NBA, they want to have that, uh, that, that 10 point lead. So when they go to the second half, you know what I'm saying? They go into halftime, all right. So right now it's, you know, I see that the first quarter is about to end, and I just want to make sure I had a, you know, 10 point lead. Nothing wrong with that, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I definitely thought I wouldn't be living a life like this at this age. I'm just so grateful that God has allowed me to, you know, have a have a career, you know, find out what my business is, um, find the one for me, because like, of course, I want to be married, and I just want to enjoy building a life with someone. Welcome, Mr. Flynn. Yes, can I get uh, two orders of number one? You said the breakfast number one? Yes. Okay, what are the drinks with those? Uh, what you want, man? Orange juice. Okay. Uh, can I get two orange juice with those? Here you go. All right, thank you. All right, have a good one. You too. Love Chick-fil-A, folks. For us and me and Jada, um, it's like, you know, how do we share our love for each other like publicly but always have that boundary i think that's definitely important especially with like the world of social media i salute her parents um for helping us with that because like when i first got with jada like that was something i had to adjust to because um you know i was i was wanting to post like everything um like in back in 2014 when we first met and uh, her parents just kind of like over time, you know, they were just kind of like, hey, you know, kind of watch out for this, watch out for that. And I commend them for that because that taught me a lesson on, you know, just keeping stuff, you know, balanced, keeping stuff in its right, um, in its right order. You know what I'm saying? Concerning like me and my relationship with God, it kind of built off of prayer. Like my mentor told me to start praying <clears throat> for an hour a day. And I remember I was like, bruh. I can't even pray for 10 minutes, let alone an hour. But one of the things that God revealed to me is like, dude, think about like uh, a friendship that you have with someone, or if it's a girl or a guy that you're trying to talk to, um, you want to communicate with them, right? You know, you want to you want to text them all the time. You want to sit on FaceTime to get to know them more. You want to go on dates with them. So you can discover like, hey, are, are you the one for me? Or can I do life with you? All of that type of stuff. And so after realizing what a relationship with God is, is just like a relationship with one another, you know, um, you know, amongst like human beings here. Um, and of course with God, it's a little, it's, it's much more better. But, you know, as we approach that relationship with God, it's just talking to him daily. And so my life truly changed when I just started talking to him daily and uh, showing him that, Lord, I'm willing to live a life that's for you. And after that, 
after that point, it was like God just opened up like the doors and like all of the areas of my life. I, I tend to think back on like, you know, when I was a kid, like what did it mean to be 24? Like, what did I think I would be doing? And I honestly thought I probably would be uh, going on tour as a drummer and stuff, because that's all I wanted to do as a kid. And so um, I haven't hit that point yet, um, but God is, he, he, he got it in the, in the radar. So like with uh, being a content creator, you know, going, I, I was able to go on tour, you know, with Jonathan McReynolds and taking photos at the Kanye West service. And uh, even as a scientist working, you know, at NASA Center Space Center as a, a hydrologist and my love life is good and just a whole bunch of stuff. My family is healthy. My family, you know, we, we have a close bond and all of that type of stuff. And it's just, it's just healthy, man. That's all I can think of. Um, healthy in all my areas, uh, all the areas of my life. and. You know, I'm just excited on what's next. You would never know if something is 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 going to happen or if it's going to work out if you never get the guts to just jump, if you never, you know, just try it out for yourself. Um, and that's with your relationship with God. That's with living a life, you know, that's, that's, that's holy and acceptable unto God. A lot of things that I think about is, um, you know, when people say like, oh, I don't know if I can pull away from drinking or smoking or whatever. And, you know, it's like, what if you just try? Like, what if you just try it out and see what happens on the other side? And so not, I'm not trying to just focus on that, but I'm saying like, even with running, the, like starting your business or, you know, uh, showing love with your family, trying to forgive, you know, the people that hurt you, you never know what's going to happen. If you just move in that, just try it out. We try out everything else. So why not just try out, you know, those things are gonna that are going to benefit one another and especially ourselves having that self-help. So um, yeah, just jump.